How about now? How about now, Joker? There we go. I think uh, when I come back from break, what happens is my X split decides to eat Path of Exile. And so, while I wait for it to catch up, I have to see if I can get the game back in here. It's crazy. It's totally crazy. And Booze, I saw your messages. Don't worry about dropping me items. I, I'm probably not going to be able to, to take those. I do appreciate it, though. Oh, there it is. Yay, Path of Exile is working! Right, so I am going to... I'm going to do some inventory management while you guys are racing. Interesting. What are you doing in chat, Joker? Don't get yourself killed. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Wow, Templar has made it to level 32. I've only been playing a, a couple hours a day each this week, each day this week. It's been going pretty well. Let me look at my old race character. You're behind, taking your time. Well, good. Just stay alive. Get to that, that infamous level 10. Alright, this character is still on hardcore. So I'm going to take this character out and get her killed and put her items over on my default because I don't want anything in hardcore. Not now. Maybe later. Let's see how long it takes these skeletons to kill me. Come on, skeletons. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> yeah, she's a 12, but and this is my old race character. I'm not losing anything here at all. You almost made 12 on that one hour. It's pretty good. Let me see here. What? Uh, I need to look at that, that link again. Level 10, one reward point. This time, if you're going to get to the second tier, don't get 15 and then like 200 XP left to go. That would be the worst. You've already done that once. If only I could swing one more time. I only needed to hit him one more time. And I think you hold the record, Joker, of having the most, I would say, intense and frustrating last couple seconds of a race that I've seen so far. So far. I'm sure somebody will, will earn that prize and it'll be worse for them. But right now, yours is definitely the worst. Because you were literally one swing away from your next level. Just be glad it wasn't the next tier. All the crap that I don't need. Let's put all this stuff in here. There's my GCP. First one. Very proud. Good lord, these things don't drop that often. Although, my highest level character right now is a level 42. And then I've got the 32 Templar, both of which pretty average levels. Time spent. Let's see, four hours a day. I've probably spent about 40 hours, maybe a little bit more, playing in the open beta. So if I'm getting one GCP every 40 hours played, oh my god, why did I do that calculation out loud? It was a huge mistake. Alright, I'm gonna put these in my stash. Let's see, a regular Firestorm gem, a regular Freezing Pulse gem, a regular Fireball gem. Fire trap. I don't think I have any fire traps. Oh, no, I do have a fire trap up here. I do like that they have made these gems look different because you can sort of quickly see what you have already and what you don't. Uh, let's see. And some yellows, which I can gauge whether or not these are useful later. They could be useful. Let's just put all that stuff in here. Oh, that is a blue. I don't need that. She actually had some yellows on. That's right, I got these at the end. My infamous, my infamous yellows. Okay, there's a fireball gem. I have to start turning in some of these crappy gems to vendors. Do some vendor recipes. Maybe I can do that. I would like to follow some of the race, though. Not actively participating in this race, I don't think. If I log into the server, maybe since you guys are listening, I can tell you some updates so you don't have to read the chat so much. I get tunnel vision so bad when I do that stuff. 
I find it amazing that I've paid attention to anything that comes up in the chat. The bright orange text telling you that someone has someone has leveled. I will sometimes miss that. Too intent on, on not getting myself killed. Alright, I don't think I want any of these, but I will keep the stupid gems. I guess I'm gonna have to roll some rings with those. That was a good shield. That served me well. The last race, I definitely got some of the better items that I've ever gotten in a race. Better Be items. Careful. Still didn't help me out that much, because I, I didn't build for speed. It's very true that the build that I picked was not... was not built for speed. I wasn't really playing for speed. Mostly stamina. Because I want to stay alive. I suppose at some point being competitive might become important to me, but I just I can't imagine it. Like right now, I just don't care. <coughs> I think it's I think it's fun. It's exciting to see the people winning. And I've been seeing a lot of different names on the top too. It's not just the same couple of people. There are there are some people that keep winning in general that they're at the top, but it's not always the same top twenty, which is really awesome. So that character is done. All of her stuff is now in the stash. Safe and sound. Okay, let's... Let's go ahead and delete that. I am a warrior. I was born to fight. I don't know raised to defend my to. tribe. Now, I have been taken from my people. Oh, at least we're all level one. Yeah, I'm considering looking up some some recipes right now, but I don't know if I want to do that or not. My choices are: I have an hour and a half to see how far I can get we're all in the race, which I don't really feel like doing, or I could farm with my cold witch. When I kill a man, I really need some good items. Dead. I don't know. I guess I could try try racing. <laughs> I can always go the relaxing route. <laughs> You'll listen to recipes. Yeah, I might I might do that. Because right now I need to go I need to go look up what I exactly need for some of the ring rolling. I have so many skill gems. I know you can turn in skill gems to get uh, resist rings and such. And they're just sitting in there. It's just so much crap, it's taking up space. And if the rings roll poorly, I can just get rid of them a bunch of iron rings and other various and sundry garbage that I need. Let's see here. I gotta watch it though. If I start racing, I'm gonna I'm gonna be interested in racing. Because I might do that too. I actually changed the, the title. I changed the title to Race Watching because I wasn't sure if I actually wanted to to actually participate in the race. Oh, hey, Joker. Vuz says he has some stuff for you. I'm not sure which game he's got that in for you. I think he said he left it in in a default game somewhere. I'm not sure. I think Joker's back to racing. It's default stuff. Okay. Yeah, he's got it in a default game for you. or do I not want to race? It's kind of weird the way I view the races. Sometimes I view them as I'm playing on a server that exists for two hours and my goal is just to play on it until it goes down. <laughs> it's definitely a creative way of having fun. And welcome back, Foos, just in case I didn't welcome you back. I live to see Let's see here. What should I do? How about life? Yes, yes, life indeed. To race or not to race, that is the question. Yeah, I feel like I need a new term for what I do. Because I definitely... I actually have to work, work at it to not tunnel vision and just pay attention to the race. 
and look intently at the screen. Because otherwise, if I did that, I you know some of you guys aren't watching the screen right now, but all I would be doing, you'd hear silence, and I would just be staring like this. It just seems too quiet. I mean, a few seconds of quiet feels like too much to me. But as soon as I start talking about stuff, it's like I use probably about 50% of my brain power to actually remember what I'm speaking about. <laughs> the other 50%'s on the game, which means I'm not playing optimally. There's no way. I'm sure there's some people out there that are super talented at both things. Not me. I'm an alright multitasker. Not an expert. Alright, let's see here. There's only a few more zombies. And I'd say I, I rolled a Marauder this time for the race. Whether or not I stick stick to it or not, we'll see. I'm a very firm believer in games needing to be fun. I think if I wasn't so tired, I would be more enthusiastic about it. I'm actually more eager to see how you guys do than, than how I do. Because I imagine over time, we're going to have a pretty good community here, and we could have some pretty good experts. You guys can exchange tips. Like, earlier, Shiver was given some good ones. and it, I mean, there's always somebody that knows more about the game than you do. Always somebody that knows more about the game than I do. So I, I definitely would learn a lot of stuff. I definitely don't mind advice. Like if I make a mistake and somebody points it out to me, I might not be able to fix that mistake immediately, but the next time, the next time I'll know what to do better. Which I definitely like. Phone is pinging me. I actually have a lead. I'm getting some sound equipment. I'd love to have some of that. I guess we will see. That's another thing. I don't know anything about sound. I've been watching some of the, the streamers around that sound really awesome. Amazing voices. I don't know if you guys have ever had a chance to see Talutha. He's been streaming SimCity lately. And actually lives somewhere near me. In my general area. I'm in North Texas and he lives in the same general area. But uh, his voice, the audio equipment that he uses, he sounds like a professional radio DJ when he talks. And I think that would really, really be awesome if I had something like that. Because right now, the sound equipment I have is very basic. I am using a very cheap, refurbished LabTech mic. I have a big box of mics, and I've tried so many different ones. And none of them are producing the kind of sound quality that I want. And I think it's because what I'm going to have to do is actually go a little pro and get a mixer and a professional mic and actually do some real audio stuff. I don't know what any of the terms are. I've never really messed with audio like that before. But I figure I can read, so I can figure out how to do it. And I won't be as good as a pro, but I think I can make it work. Just dropped here. A rustic sash. I keep forgetting I'm actually in a race, and then I should pick up this crap. Because it might be useful. Oh, thanks, Joker. I appreciate that. I just keep thinking that, uh, I mean, I, since I was uh, in school, one of the things that I really enjoy is radio. And I've always thought that I would love to do radio or voiceovers or that kind of thing. And just the opportunity to be on, on Twitch and talk to you guys is something that's Hello, very exciting for me. Because I have a very odd voice. Um, it's very deep. An and for a long time when I was younger, I didn't like it because I, I thought, well, I'm a girl, I'm not supposed to have a deep voice. But as I got older, I realized my voice might actually be something that people like to hear. <laughs> so, anyway, good sound equipment would go a long way. Plus, I also need good sound equipment because I'd like to do a demo reel and actually send out kind of a portfolio for, for possible voice acting. And I can't do that on the sound system that I have now because it's just... I'm sure they get low-quality stuff all the time, but I don't want to make them work for it. You know, it's not very professional to send in something that sounds like it's scratchy and everything. And, and this will work for Twitch, because I know there's a lot of people out there, they don't even use sound. They don't, they don't even let you see them or hear them because of their personal comfort zone or what they can afford. But for me, I would like to, I would like to have it sound as good as possible for you guys. 
Somebody told me once that they could fall asleep listening to me talk, which I, I think is a compliment. I think that means my voice is relaxing, but I'm not sure. <laughs> so let's see here. What did I get? I got two gems. Oh, cleave, which I can't use just yet. And heavy strike, of course. Just clear that out. Maybe I can put the... doesn't really matter. I can't believe a poison arrow dropped off of Hillock. What are the chances? Oh, maybe I'll kill some stuff. We might be able to look up some recipes. If I make it to 10, then maybe I can log off or at least look up some recipes and, and see what those are all about. So I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to uh, turning in some of my items. Oh no. Wow, oh, Marauder is so strong. He is so strong compared to the other classes when you first start out. Like, you actually feel like, if you have mana, you feel like you're kicking some ass when stuff runs up to you. The heavy strike is good. It feels good, man. It feels good. Let's pick up that small life flask. See, I gotta watch it. I'm starting to feel that in the zone about racing. I get very, very intense. And I'm not sure that I want that intense feeling. In the zone. I think what that is, is the competitive feeling. <laughs> I don't have that very often. But because I'm not really competing against anybody but myself in this instance, since I'm kinda I'm behind, I'm not doing any firsts, you know, I might make it to level 10. I don't think I really want to be that competitive. Like, I used to play a lot of Magic the Gathering. I don't know if you guys have ever played that game. But, uh, I did tournaments, and it was pretty fun. I learned a lot when I would lose, and when I would win, I was very proud of myself for winning any match. Because so many people, I mean, they made it their life's goal to study the game and to be really good at it. But I never, I never raged, and I never got upset with anybody when I lost. I'm not a, I'm not a poor loser. Very respectful to the people that win. Because... They're good at what they do. In Magic the Gathering, even though you build your own deck, there is a random chance that you're not going to draw well. I mean, ideally, you build a deck that you always draw well from, but that's not the case. Sometimes your mana is all on top and you just keep drawing mana. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about with Magic the Gathering, you're probably like, what? Mana? Draw mana? What are you talking about? But that's a pretty popular card game. I imagine you guys have either seen it before, if not played it. Which is definitely fun. But I've played that game with people who are such poor losers. Like, they get they get really emotionally invested in it. And, uh, and they just get really upset when they lose. And I feel bad for them because I know their desire to win is high. They're just uber competitive. You know, it's not, it's not something that they're doing because they're bad people. They just really, really have their hearts set on winning. And I think, for me, I just, I don't get that way. I like to win, but I don't I don't make it my identity. You know, actually, since I'm not racing very seriously, I'm going to take out Fire Fury is the name of this guy. I can. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to be risky. Oh my god, and he dropped a bunch of white stuff. If any of it's good, it's hard to tell. Boy, he's quite the posse. You know, I like I like these unique guys. I need to have a posse around them. Oh, they're strong enough. Good times, bad times is the first to reach level 16. Wow, level 16. My mana is gone. That is awesome. All right, let's see. Oh, one more enemy. Death to you, Sand Spitter. All right, let's see. I am well behind you guys. I'm still. We're battling sand spitters right now. Good times, bad times is the first to enter the weaver's chambers. Yeah, he's he's ahead in the zones too. Not only ahead on levels, but ahead in the zones. So let's see here. Goat hide bucklers. Armor. Mine's I don't need any of this. What is that? Evasion, no, no. Hmm. I think I might be able to use cleave. Yes, Cleave. Alright, let's see. 
Hey, Nico, how are you doing today? Good to see you, man. Oh, what is this? Iron Greaves. Nope, don't need that. What is this scepter? Don't need that. What a bunch of crap. I'm late to the races today. So, everybody else in channel is is in the races. I believe Joker and Vuz are both racing. I'm technically in the race, but there's no competition going on here. Good eating crackers, huh? What kind of crackers? Crackers. I hope you're not sick. That's something sick people sometimes eat. Unless they're peanut butter crackers. Peanut butter crackers are pretty damn good. Just plain. Oh. I'm probably gonna have to eat very plain food when I get my wisdom teeth out. I still have to do that. I need pity. Because I do not want to have my wisdom teeth out, but I have to do it at some point. Those are going to be days where I will not be talking on the stream. If I'm here, I'll just be waving a lot to you guys while I'm recovering from that. Which might be in a couple months. Apocryphile will have to do all the talking. <laughs> Let's see, did I pick up a helmet? I don't know. I can't tell if I'm wearing a helmet. I was not wearing a helmet. I am now. And my rusty helmet is badass. Eating them till your mouth goes dry, then drinking water. It makes the water taste better. How come you're stuck with crackers today? I drink a lot of water. I've actually started... I have this, this Brita filter. It looks like you can actually see it. It's not messing up my green screen. This Brita filter is a water bottle that's got a filter in here, and it makes the water taste good. Where I live, the water tastes like metal and dirt. It's not really that good. It almost tastes... I don't know, really bitter. But when I use these Brita filters, it makes it taste pretty good. It actually tastes a little sweet. Like, if I'm not eating anything else, water tastes sweet, which is weird. I, I really don't like water. I mean, I don't know how somebody can not like water, but I don't. I guess it's a first world problem. Oh no, I don't like water. But... I know ever since I got these filters, it's just been a lot easier for me to drink water. Couldn't find anything else. My mana's gone. The metal tastes good. Dirt doesn't. Yeah, I imagine depending on what, what, uh, you know, minerals and stuff are in your water, it probably changes the taste quite a bit. And I really don't know what's in the water here, but I can safely say that without a filter, the water is really, really bad. See, I'm in North Texas, and the water is actually worse in Oklahoma because I've been up there a couple of times. And it's so soft, the water is so soft that you can't even really clean your hands. Like if you if you soap your hands up and then you try to rinse your hands, the soap feels like it's still on there because the water just doesn't just doesn't even clean your hands right. And it tastes awful. It's it's worse here in Texas, I think, for the taste is just I don't know, maybe the pipes are old. I don't know what it is, but but I have been drinking a lot of water. I feel a lot healthier when I drink water instead of other things. I actually read an article recently where they said that people who drink just soda are actually dehydrating themselves. Now, I don't know if that's propaganda or not, because it could be people trying to get you to stop drinking sodas, but they were saying that there's enough sodium in soda that it actually dehydrates you. So if that's all you drink and you never drink any just water, you are probably uh, walking around dehydrated all the time. And I used to be a big soda drinker, and I had headaches a lot. And ever since I've stopped drinking so much soda, I don't get as many headaches. So I think that might be part of it for me. You dehydrate yourself 24-7, Joker? Jeez, you must be a big soda drinker then. You do the do. Yeah, soda. Soda tastes good, though. I know why people drink it. It freaking tastes good. And people don't like things that don't taste good. It's just not very healthy for you. And then there's coffee. I drink coffee sometimes. And Rockstar and energy drinks and all that kind of bad stuff for you. But as long as that's not the only thing you're drinking. Like, if you have to substitute something that's gonna dry you out a little bit, probably tea would be a good sub. 
Which I need to get back into drinking green tea. I've been really slacking with that. It's super good for you. Healthier, keeps you young looking. Lots of antioxidants. Lies. <laughs> you only drink soda, yeah, no do. Well, you know, I figure you're drinking sodas, you are getting some water. The reason why I wonder if it's propaganda, right, is because there is some liquid in there, and if somebody is all they're doing is drinking soda, you would think that they would probably die from dehydration if it wasn't giving you some kind of hydration, but I guess you're just not getting enough. Like if you drank if you drank more water, you would probably feel even better. But as it is right now, you're probably just walking around a little dehydrated. I don't know, maybe your body's really good at filtering out sodium. I don't know. All those articles that tell you things are good for you, and then the next day one tells you something's bad for you. I can't keep track of it all. Coffee's good for you, coffee's bad for you. Red wine is good for you, red wine is bad for you. Smoking is bad for you. Wait, smoking is always bad for you. You know, whatever. They actually say that smoking can be good for you if you're an old person. Isn't that crazy? Because old people, because their their arteries thin, smoking thins your blood, and you, you may actually be less likely to have a heart attack when you're older. Somebody told me that, and they said, my plan is to start smoking when I turn 65, so that I won't have a heart attack. And I thought, man, I don't know about this plan. This doesn't sound good. I've had some friends with some very odd plans. That was one of them. Another one was someone who decided for their retirement they were going to go to jail. That way they didn't have to actually pay for their own retirement. So they were going to do some crime that would put them in jail for the rest of their lives. Also not a good plan. But hey, you know, people say they're going to do stuff. I was like, well, when you turn 65, if you still do that plan, I'll come visit you. People are very strange. My mana is gone. Oh, the new Marauder voice stuff sounds weird to me. Like he's saying all kinds of things. It's armor 10. 10. Oh, you're in Newfoundland. Okay. Grew up at your nan's. She didn't have a water filter. Yeah, that's, that's really excellent. My family lives in Pennsylvania, and there's a lot of hills out that way. They actually have well water. And their water tastes amazing. It's really, really good. It's pure. It's clean. I mean, the only pipes that touch it are the pipes to their well. And, I mean, there's just something to be said about city water. City water just kind of tastes a little gross. And I think that's probably why there's so many, like, water filters and pitchers that, that do all that. Because the water just, I don't know, city water just gross. It has a terrible taste. But... I mean, you're, you're in Canada. Canada's a very clean place, too. I imagine the water probably tastes so good in Newfoundland. Never been there. I've been to Quebec, and I've been to Ontario. I visited, um... I, think I went to Montreal, and then I went to Toronto. Those are the cities that I visited. And I was amazed at how clean it was. I wish the United States was as clean as Canada. People were very friendly and very very clean compared to down here. Like if you're if you're in the United States and you're on a road trip and you need to stop somewhere to use a public bathroom, there's certain places that you probably need to be afraid of. Like certain gas stations. They may have never cleaned their bathroom. And when I was in Canada, everywhere we stopped, every single bathroom, you, know, you could have eaten off the floor compared to the United States. It was extremely shocking for me. I was pretty young at the time too. But it was the first time that I had ever been somewhere where people actually took pride in taking care of things like their bathrooms. Like, United States, not so much. Here, if you need to stop, you can use those rest stops on the highway. They're usually pretty good. Or libraries. Libraries are one of the places I always recommend if somebody needs to run in and use a bathroom that you do because they keep them pretty spotless. I've never seen a bad library public bathroom. So now you know, if you're ever in the United States, and you have an emergency pit stop, find a library. They're public, nobody questions you when you walk in there. You can just go in and use one, and you don't have to worry about disgusting things. Like Walmarts, for example. Don't go into Walmart unless you're absolutely desperate. Or a fast food place. Or a shady looking gas station. You guys are going to learn all kinds of stuff about, about where I live. <laughs> it's pretty dirty sometimes. But, you know, desperate measures sometimes. Sometimes desperate times cause desperate measures. 
Yeah, that, that probably did take a long time to type, Nico. I think that's the most typing I've ever seen you do at once. It's a lot of typing. Cow's milk is bad, too. Yeah, you know, I've seen the, the conspiracy theory articles about uh, cow's milk, too. And I, I don't know, like, I don't know what to believe, because they do that whole... Like, you'll see this article where they tell you, you know, milk is good for you, it's got lots of calcium and other vitamins and minerals and blah blah blah. And then you'll see an article that says cow's milk is is hard to digest and it's it's not good for you, it's just a bunch of empty calories. I mean, what the hell do you believe? I try not to read that stuff, but I end up getting caught up in it because I'm looking for the truth. I would like I would like these things to be scientific in nature. So if anybody ever has scientific articles, I prefer those. I want some proof. I'm not gonna drink cow's milk. I wanna know why I can't. But I'm sure that there's there's probably other types that are better for you. I know recently I tried almond milk and it was a little thin tasting to me, but I'm just not used to it, you know. I live in the United States, milk is a staple drink. You grow up drinking it, so it's really it's a little difficult to start trying to drink something else. I've gotten in coffee a couple times too. Also soy milk. I've tried soy milk. Which has an odd flavor. Soy chocolate milk is pretty good though. But again, there's that taste thing. I'm like a kid. If it's not if it's not chocolate, you know. If it's not tasty, I don't want it. But I mean I do, I try a lot of weird stuff, so. These guys are Bastards. I'm probably gonna get myself killed in this race. Because I am really not paying attention to what I'm doing at all. It'd be fun. Which screen will Locke get herself killed on? Good question. Come back here, dudes. Let's get away from that ice guy, because he's probably down there. The chat seems to be lagging. Yeah, I'm, I probably just keep going on and talking a little much, because uh, I can only take quick looks at the chat. So I tend to take a look at the chat when I can, and I end up talking until I can look at it again, so... Sorry if I don't respond too fast, Nico. It's partially because I can't look at it while these guys are shooting at me. Right now, I need to drink some of the potion. See what the delay is. Why is my... Where's my timestamps? This better be working again. Really I have one, actually. I have cleave. I'm forgetting that I have cleave and can actually use it now. That's what I need to do. I should be using cleave, but I've forgotten that I had it. I'm sure. I think I picked it up. It's my reward when I got into town. Yeah. Yeah, I should totally use it. Are you uh, are you running the race today, Nico? Or you been playing Path of Exile? There's a two hour going on right now, and there is actually uh oh, oh no, this might not end well. Oh my god, how in the hell did I live through that? I have no idea. <laughs> I think we have an hour left. I feel like I need the Benny Hill song to play. You know what, cold guy? I don't really want to deal with you. I just don't. I don't want to get myself killed. Now, if his posse isn't around, I might try it, but I don't have any mana. Good lord. Town. <laughs> Let me see if we got some cold rings in here. <coughs> Let's see. Purchase. Uh, don't see any cold rings. I do see some life rings, though. I know. <laughs> there you go. You're living four seconds in the past, man. But telling me to run's good, because if I actually do look at the chat, I can see I can see that you were you were behind me there, rooting for me not to die. I could not believe that I unfroze with enough time to actually survive. I think if the game didn't let me drink my potions, it would have been all over. Well, I guess I can get let's see. Seven, that's not bad, I guess. No cold rings. I'm not high enough level to see cold rings, I don't think. I might just to say I might have to say hell with that guy. Because again, I'm not racing very hardcore, so if you're looking for something intense, uh, you're not gonna be seeing much intense. You may see me live by the skin of my teeth. Or 
a very heroic death. At least that's the way I like to think of it. It won't be that heroic, though. But I survived. I survived. See, I drink coffee. Coffee is probably not the best for you, either. I drink coffee, tea, water, and an occasional soda. I do like wine, also. And if I'm going to drink anything like beer, it's usually cider. Though I do like lambics. I will drink a lambic. You like tea? Are you a green tea kind of person? Or a black tea kind of person? Right now I've been drinking jasmine. Green jasmine tea. I think I'm just going to come in here and kill some roas and stuff. That's why I get the waypoint first. Sometimes I just skip that cold guy, especially in hardcore racing. Oh. Yay, cleave! I remembered. And a ring. What I need is another... I need another man. tastes odd and black is too strong. Yeah, there's a lot of very bitter teas out there. Jasmine tea, jasmine green tea adds actual jasmine flowers in it and it makes it a little bit softer and sweeter. So depending on, on whether or not you like bitter tea, if you don't like bitter tea, jasmine might be a good green for you, but if you don't like the taste of green, probably not. I know you can just drink that, that standard stuff, like Lipton. I think, isn't that black tea? I don't even know what that stuff qualifies as. I haven't drank that in a while. Like a, a hipster. I only drink obscure teas that no one's ever heard of before. You know, I would tell you about it, but you probably you probably have never heard of it, so just never mind. It's my, it's my fake hipster voice. No, actually, I'm, I'm not a tea snob at all. I have basically just standard Chinese jasmine green tea. That's pretty much what I, I drink. Get it from the local Asian market. It lasts me forever. And it's just in a can. Tea Vana. You drink what your nan buys. Tesli? Ah, yeah, Tesli. Is that an English company? Tea Vana sounds like... It sounds like a hipster tea shop to me. What is that? I don't know what that is. I don't claim to be an authority on anything like that. It's like wine. I'm not I'm not a professional wine taster. Somebody will pour me a glass of wine and I decide whether or not I like it, but I couldn't tell you why I like it. I have no idea. I'm pretty pretty happy usually just with uh, normal house wines. The things that aren't too sweet and aren't too aren't too dry. That's about the extent of it. All right, let's let's put this mana flask on because I need more mana. This poor guy. Oh, it is. It is. It does sound like it. It's like T plus Nirvana. T Vana. That's what I thought of. So, I guess it's a good guess. It's a very fancy, hipster-esque tea shop. I think Starbucks used to be like that, but now since it's such a big chain, it's been shunned. Hipsters will still go there, but. I don't know, I don't claim to understand hipsters. I think it's kind of cool that they like retro things. No idea what this guy's saying. Oh, look, there's the end already. I gotta go pick up all my other glyphs. <laughs> well, then. Yeah, but tea is a very relaxing drink. Something you can just kick back with. If you're not in the mood to, uh... Dehydrate, dehydrate yourself too much, like with beer or something stronger. Whiskey, vodkas, that kind of stuff. I'm not much of a drinker these days. I enjoy alcohol, but usually I'll just drink it with dinner. Otherwise, most of the time I'd probably just be drinking it by myself at my computer playing games. That'd be one of those, those sad existences. Not very hipster at all. Unless it's obscure. I drink a really obscure brand of whiskey. Uh, you probably have never heard of it though, so... Just never mind. You're out of water? Do tell me you have more water. 
Mine has a limited storage space in this container, but my tap has much water. Newfoundland must have a lot of water. I mean, you live next to water. Although you probably don't want to drink that water. Are you on the coast, or do you live somewhere deep in the middle? It's probably a very strange way to describe any town in Newfoundland. I don't think that anything qualifies as deep in the middle. Maybe if you're closer to it. Uh, let's see how hard these guys are. Oh no, Joker, what happened? Now, I'm, after the race, I'm probably going to get logged off, uh, Nico, because I, I need to get back online in a few hours for a beta test that I'm, I'm running later. But, uh... Man, Terraria, that would be a good group game. You know, I wonder, I should probably, I could start a Terraria thread on the Steam group, because earlier today we have, a, we have a Path of Exile thread now, so anybody who wants to play Path of Exile in the Steam group with other people, they can put their character name in there, their time zone, and then what server they want to play on. I guess, you know, a Terraria thread would probably be good, although Terraria is really hard to play multiplayer, because you have to open up all those ports, and if, if your friends don't have a clue what they're doing with opening up ports and such, then they're not going to know how to set up a game. Terraria is a pretty fun game. Paradise, you list, used to live by the bay. I see. So that's considered the middle then, I guess. You got lost in the prison. Saw bones in the freeze skeletons. Oh, man. I completely avoided those guys in the last in the last race because I saw that room over there and I was lucky they were like behind a closed door so I didn't aggro them and I just went the other way and managed to avoid it. It was complete luck. I consider anything that I do good good luck. You did too but did you have to end up going in there anyway? Stupid bastards. Zombies, all of you Roas, I'm talking to the game, just in case you guys might think I'm talking to you. I would never call my my viewers that. That would be rude. Got lost in the prison, right? And you didn't know, but you were just lost. So he went for it and decided to try to kill him. God, man, that's... I tell you what, when, I, when I'm streaming especially, I feel really, really, really stupid when I run away from boss enemies because it just feels wimpy to me, you know, like I should I should stick it out, I should be better, I should try to kill them, but sometimes, man, sometimes killing those enemies is not the best strategy when you're racing. I know, I used to read a guy's strategies back in closed beta, and one of his religious things, he would say, do not waste your time with, with any of the special enemies, unless, you know, they don't have extra health and you can get them down quickly, do not waste your time, just avoid them. You know, rush ahead to the areas where there's enemies you can kill by the dozens, and then go to town. Now, I know strategies have probably changed since then, but that's usually when I make all my mistakes, when I get brave and think, I can do this, I'm gonna go in there, I'm just, screw it, I'm gonna do it. And that's... I could feel it happening. I could feel myself making the mistake. Like, I just should know but I'm gonna do it anyway. Don't feel bad, though. I know that feeling, too. Also, when you get lost in the prison, you're just like, well, fine, I'm just gonna kill this guy because I'm not doing anything. I'm just running around not killing any stuff. I can't find my way out. I need the XP. That's what I call my, my panic decisions. Panicking. Uh oh, there it was. That guy missed me. Just rushed on by. Shivers build. It's fun, but you're not familiar with it. I don't know what goes on with my stream. In the afternoon, it seems to, to actually freeze more. I need to look and see if the League of Legends stuff's going on. Have you guys looked out at the uh, the games list recently? I'm wondering if maybe, if there's over 200,000 people on, that could explain it. There's some days it just gets really, really bad on Twitch. And the people who are not partners, because I am not a partner, uh, our, our streams are not as high priority. And I think that it's very possible that we might we might get a little bump for that stuff, which makes sense. I mean, we're not we're not making them money the way the partners are, so we should be lower priority, which could explain some of the freezing. I don't know for sure though. But 
Yeah, if there's a ton of viewers on it, it could be affecting everybody. Let's see here. I wonder how many more guys I have to kill in here. Boy Boy has 30k. Well, yeah, that's, that's definitely part of it. Definitely the more viewers that Twitch gets, the weirder things happen on the, the non-partner channels. See, like that guy, there's a yellow guy in that group. And I'm probably going to end up killing him, because he doesn't have too many dudes. But I have to be careful. The bravery will get you killed. Because all he has to do is crit on me. And look at that, I'm, I'm out of life. i got to get some more health potions here. So I either have to go back to town and refill my life. Or I have to manage to kill some of these guys. I hope they don't hurt me as I'm running around. Hardcore. It's a crazy experience. Okay, now I've got a little bit more. One health potion. Yeah, wow, he's... He's rough, that guy. Don't hit me, dude. That was the wrong button. There we go. See, it worked out well for me that time, but it doesn't always. Luck. Yep, I got the gem. Thanks, Nico. My is gone. Yes. I was complaining. My marauder's complaining at me when I try to drink potions, and they're empty already. Hey, there's a battered cap. Kill the necromancer. Oh man, kill the necromancer. Come on, necromancer. Time to die. Yeah. What is this? A short bow. See, it's a good thing I don't actually need a weapon. This guy that I'm not racing seriously in any way, shape, or form. A short bow. Could have used that on my ranger the other day. Let's see here. Oh, man. I guess I could go two handed. I don't really want a staff though. I have this awesome cleave right now. Can't use this yet. Because it's level 7. Whoa! Level 7, that's shocking. So far, you like your leap slam sweep marauder? Awesome. Very, very awesome. So are you done with the race for today, Joker? Not gonna jump back in there. You don't really have a lot of time. You have 45 minutes. It's probably possible to get to 10 in 45 minutes, but you might have to play like a crazy person. Which I don't know if that's fun for you or not. You think you're done? Yeah. Yeah, I think I might be done too with a half hour left. I wouldn't want to have to rush, uh, certainly on stream too, there's no way. I'd be like, I would probably make, maybe I'd make level 9 and 200 XP. And then I would just cry. Well, not real crying. Maybe some of that fake stream crying. Yeah, I've seen some people on stream, I've seen them do some weird stuff that I just can't imagine they're actually doing for real. Is that guy really upset? I can't tell. It's good life. Yes, yes, a ring. Let's see what we got. We got a coral ring, which, since I'm not wearing two rings yet, this is pretty good. I can put that on. Got some life, we got some physical damage, and we've got some quantity of items found. It's only 4%, but you know, I'm not really going to be picky at this point. It's the second ring I've found, period. Let's just put it on. What am I missing, anyway? I'm missing a necklace at this point. Terrible. Low level characters. Five monsters remaining. I've almost cleared them out. Yeah, let's step on these barrels. Casual racing with lock of our own game with us. Today we're going to chill and have a good time. Yay, here's the last guy. I love it when I don't have to run around and search for the last guy. And somehow I've managed to make it around and explore properly and the monsters haven't wandered off in some weird place. It's all good. 
let's see here. Let's get out of this place. Let's go. Let's go to Tarkley. I think I'll just run down to the uh, the waypoint. I think my map is still good here. Yep. Managed to do it before my map cleared. See you later, Nico. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping in. Time to die, zombie. Zombies over there just chilling. Good news with zombies, I don't I don't think that their feelings are hurt when they when they get killed. I think you can just kill a zombie without guilt. There's nothing there. Of course in some mythos you'll have zombies that actually what have help brains. I, can offer is yours. I don't like those kind. So let's sell some of this crap that I don't need. Actually that I'm gonna upgrade to and that will keep Tarkley has a reward. Let's see a what it is. I've traveled inland on the Emperor's world. Let's see. Oh, that's right. Um, I have Interesting to go. Glyph you got that's there. his quest. That's right. I gotta go do the glyphs. Completely neglected the glyphs. This is what I get for being tired. Yeah, I'm not paying attention at all. But I think I have. Let's see. I have one, two. So I need one more. One more glyph. I say as I stop for a chest. Chest! I wonder if they put those things in for people who are easily distracted. I feel like I have to turn over every every single boulder and I have to click on every single chest. Some of the like, baskets and stuff I can avoid. But man, I feel like I have to like click on all of them. Smart zombies. I know, man. What would you do if if you came in, in con into contact with a smart zombie? Like what? I mean, the only reason we can get away from them is because they're they're stupid. Like if we if we came upon a smart zombie, I mean, those things would own us. Like they're already dead. Like what do they have to lose exactly? Smart zombies, man. That would be a disaster. It's missing that guy left and right. Alright, let's go up here. Oh wait, no, there's there's my next There's my next glyph, it's down here. Oh, and of course there's a nice mean and nasty blue row over here. I must have him. Let's go heavy strike. Wow. That was some warping. It's the halitosis glyph. I swear I'll never read that correctly. Leap Slam is good for searching through everything. I think it's cool jumping across the creeks and stuff. Like, it feels like you can travel the maps a little bit faster. Especially the ones in, in Act 2. I imagine some of the caves too. I remember it being as good as the Diablo 2 leap skill. Is that one you could pretty much leap over anything. If there was a gap, distance wasn't usually a, a big deal. God, look at all these zombies. These zombies must have died. There's so many. I can't just leave them here in good conscience. I just can't do it. So we're gonna we're gonna kill them. And here I am clicking on all the things. Chests. Oh man, I did not want to deal with those rows. I remember the end was up here. Because I've got that that guy is pretty strong. I'm not sure what level he is though. Oh there he is, Jesus. Like, I'm gonna avoid that guy. No wait, I'm gonna walk right into him. Let's see, I think it's up here. Yeah, there it is. My favorite ARPGs? Probably my favorite ones. Um, I like a lot of them. It's hard to just like say which one's my absolute favorite. Probably D2 if you count just how much time I spent playing Diablo. Now at this point I don't play it anymore because it's outdated and I, I don't really enjoy the uh, the new patches that they put in. New, you know, meaning like in the last probably five years or so. So I really haven't played it too much. I also like Titan Quest 
I played Titan Quest quite a bit. That game was pretty easy to uh, have some broken builds in. And see, I also like Torchlight. Torchlight's not one of my absolute favorites, though, but uh, Torchlight 2 is better than the first one, so I, I do like that. I can tell you which one I'm looking forward to as well. Grim Dawn is coming out. It's by the, the same guys who made uh, Titan Quest. They set up their own own little dev studio. It was basically one guy getting his friends to help him on projects for a while, and they started building Grim Dawn, which is a futuristic steampunk kind of ARPG, and they went to Kickstarter for funding, and they're actually getting really close to the alpha. People that funded the Kickstarter were given invites to Alpha, and I was one of those people. So I think soon, probably, they were saying maybe end of March or maybe April, they're going to be putting the Alpha version out, which is really exciting. I kind of like the idea of an ARPG set in that kind of atmosphere. And as for RPGs, I don't have any all-time favorites, I guess. I really like the old time, the old school Final Fantasy stuff, like Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VI, and Final Fantasy IV. But there's other there's other games I like too. Like I, I guess Dragon Age is pretty good. And it just depends. It's just really hard for me to pick like favorites. I mean Skyrim was really good too. And Fallout. Man, Fallout, especially New Vegas, I got a lot of achievements in that game. I didn't platinum it, but it was one that I played on the PlayStation 3. Really, really enjoyed Fallout. I like that post apocalyptic feel, which is why I think I'm gonna like Grim Dawn a lot. You like futuristic? I mean, if you've if you've ever played an ARPG and you want to shoot a realistic gun in a post-apocalyptic world, Grim Dawn is going to be what brings it to you. And I imagine we'll probably end up streaming that game because both Apocryphal and I have a copy coming to us when it comes out. I don't know if we'll be able to stream the alpha. Probably not. There's probably going to be an NDA, but who knows? If there isn't one, we'll stream it. You guys will get to see it. Now Torchlight has guns too, but it's not as uh, it's not as serious. The atmosphere is not as as dark. Oh, the beta that I'm playing later today is going to be Final Fantasy XIV. So that's about all that I can say about it. Is I'm going to be playing it, but I'm definitely looking forward to playing it this afternoon. Their beta started up. I know they were taking applications about a month ago, and I think you can still sign up, actually, if, if Final Fantasy XIV, it's an MMO, if it's in your interest at all. They're still accepting applications. I just, I don't think they've invited anybody since the first phase started. It's just their first wave went out, and uh, I haven't heard anything about a second wave yet from, from people that I know that are in it and waiting to get in it. But, uh, yeah, Fallout, amazing series. I, I didn't play Fallout 3, I've watched someone play it all the way through and platinum it as well. So I got to experience the game from watching. Actually, Apocryphal was the one that played it. And then when we got Vegas, I wanted to play Vegas. It just, I had to play it myself because it's an awesome series. I was a little off-put by the, uh, the box art, actually. I didn't even know that it was an RPG, really. When I first saw Fallout 3, it confused me. But once I actually got to see the game, I was like, wow, I should have played this years ago. Oh, that's supposed to point to your name. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sometimes Twitch, I guess if you, you're the last person to talk, you get to have a giant paragraph next to your, your name. It's all your chat. Oh, well, this racing. I need to look at the, uh, the racing chat, actually, and see how these guys are doing. I'm seven. Yay, seven. Alright, let's see. Somebody has reached level 24. I want you, Brutus, PA. That's a strange name. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna get some more life. I'm just gonna be a survival machine. <laughs> yeah, I definitely... I don't know, what are your what are your favorite kind of games, Joker? What do you like to play? Do you have all-time favorites, or do you just kind of... just like a lot of games? Because I'll try a lot of different types. People have to know me to recommend games, though. Because there's just some stuff... 
I like to joke around about kill zone, but I would I would never play kill zone. Let's see, I think I need to go up here. Console most of your life and FPS. Is that something you play? Like do you actually play kill zone? So I know I think what are they up to? Three? We were talking about this earlier. Not anymore. Yeah, I think I used to play a lot more RPGs, just regular old role-playing games, than I do now. I think it's almost like... Oh no, I just got logged out. Did you see that? Look at that. Yeah, I, I used to play a lot more RPGs, but I, I it's almost like I can't... I don't enjoy sitting there and playing and just... I don't know. I guess the exception to that recently would be Skyrim, because I put I put tons and tons of hours into Skyrim. 182 or something. Something ridiculous. And I did not find the waypoint there. Son of a bitch. Alright, we'll go back. We'll just kill Roas. Because I know I'm not in a hurry. Do I kill? Fallout 3, Far Cry 3. Far Cry 3 and indie games, yeah. And indie games, that's such a huge broad category now, too. Like, there's so many different types. And they're such a great value, too. You can buy them for usually five bucks or less pretty soon after they come out and get as much or more play out of them than you would get out of a AAA title. Some of the AAAs are good, though. I mean, I, I definitely think that, that there's good ones out there. Like the Fallout series is a perfect example. And Fallout New Vegas was buggy as hell on my PlayStation 3. I played that game and locked up my PlayStation so much there were certain towns I would go through that it would lock me up every time and I'm pretty sure it messed up the hard drive. I had to send it in for repair because we had to keep like hard booting it to get it to work. And so we got that fixed. But I still played it anyway. My, my TV that we were playing it on because it's a plasma, we weren't uh, cleaning it as much, and so there's like little display, the HUD is down in the corner, you can see it when the cleaner comes on, just a little bit. There's traces of fallout on my, on my PC. Oh, this is weird, it, it kept all my, it kept my maps. It bumped me up, it kept the maps, that's pretty crazy. 90% indie games? Yeah, dude, that's, that's how it is now. And because they're so cheap, I mean, you can pretty much buy them all. Especially if you support the devs, like if they come out with something new and you like their previous stuff, I mean, you have no reason to, you know, to even wait for most of the sales because they're so cheap. I still like to wait for sales because I'm extremely broke most of the time. But I do what I can. Alright, there's flooded depths, which I'm not going in. Hmm. I didn't find the waypoint, nor did I find the way up. If I had remembered what I, where I was on my map, I probably would have started going the right way. This is what it's like to be lost in the prison when you don't find any enemies. You're just like, this sucks, I'm not leveling, I'm in a race, I need to do something! Edmund Millen, oh yeah, yeah, the Binding of Isaac stuff, and Super Meat Boy and all that. Yep. Yeah, those are some good games. I have Binding of Isaac, and I have the Basement Collection. I've not actually played the Basement Collection yet. I got it in an indie bundle, and I haven't activated the code yet. But I have played Binding of Isaac, and I have the DLC for that. I'm not very good at it. I have made it to Mom, and I've killed Mom. I've unlocked a few things, but I really haven't... I really haven't excelled at the game. I've played it probably 20-some hours. It's definitely the kind of thing that you have to play a lot to get good at. But, uh, I haven't put in the time to be super good at that game. I enjoy it, though. I actually was thinking about hooking up my Xbox controller and uh, seeing if, I could, if I'd play it better with the controller. But I don't really want to mess with Joy to Key. I got it, installed it, it bothered me, and I uninstalled it, but I might go back to it at some point. Maybe the new Windows version he's planning will have um, controller features and you won't have to have an extra program to do it. Because I'm, I'm kind of thinking I'll get that too. Oh, Frag? Man, Frag is really good at it. 
If I streamed that game, people would probably want to stab their eyes out because I'm so bad at it. <laughs> Again, I don't rage when I die, but I think people would be giving me advice all the time. I mean, and there's there's nothing I can do about fat fingering a keyboard and getting better at it. I just have to practice the game. It'd be like, look at all those good items you got. Get carried, Locker. That's what'd be happening. I only do well in in Isaac when I get good items. Sometimes I think that's how the game is designed, really. Until you get good at it, anyway. I need many, many more hours. Yeah, I've watched I've watched Frag play. I've watched a few other people too. They're just they're pretty amazing at the game. And most of those people have put in hundreds, if not thousands, of hours. And I just can't imagine spending that much time on one game. That's not that's not gonna happen. Hundreds maybe, not thousands. Because I mean I admittedly I did put a lot of hours into Borderlands. So I guess I don't have much room to talk. But as far as Binding of Isaac's concerned, I don't know, I might just I might just wait for the uh, the Windows version. Alright, where in the hell is this waypoint? This is starting to this is insane. This is starting to remind me of being I'm lost in the caves. I feel like I've explored the whole place and it's not here. Hmm, I wonder if that's it over there to the left. God damn it, maze. 300 mom kills and zero deaths. Yeah, didn't he have Edmund on the phone the time that he did that, that record? I think I remember watching that, actually. And uh, people were joking that it was going to be Edmund that ended up getting him killed from distracting him. I don't know if that happened or not, though, but they were jokes. Yep. I think that that's probably worth a death, though. If you're a streamer and you have one of your favorite your favorite game devs is there, it would be worth a death if it happened. But uh, it was a it was a crazy good time. I remember everybody was all very hyper that day. Edmund was there, I think his wife, a bunch of other people. Okay, got the waypoint. I can't believe, man. See, this is what I'm talking about. My random luck in finding the waypoints. It was over there, and this is the place I need to go because I'm not going down to the flooded depths because I do not care. And it was the last thing that I found. Last, absolutely last. I completely mapped out this place. How unnecessary. In a race, it's unnecessary. I haven't heard any battle sounds in a while. I'm starting to feel that urge for battle. <laughs> it's totally worth it. I would love to support indie devs on my stream. Someday I might do that. I mean, as it is now, I have a friend that recently got RPG Maker. I mean, he just bought it a couple days ago, and I was like, man, I would love to see what you you make with it. You know, if it ends up being a decent game, I would probably ask him if, if he would mind if I streamed it. I would just show people his creation. I know some people hate RPG Maker, but it seems like a pretty cool tool because it actually makes an executable file that you can run the game without RPG Maker. So you can make a game and send it to your friends. That's that's what it does, basically. So I'm looking forward to seeing what he has. He might be like, hell no, don't put that on your stream, oh my god. And I would be like, oh, okay man, no problem. <laughs> Never seen it. Yeah, it's on Steam. I think it was on sale this week. It's called RPG Maker. And it was discounted. It's really expensive. And I think it might have been half off or something. I think I would never want to buy it at full price. It might have been 60 bucks or something. Maybe more. But it's basically a, a dev kit. It's for people who aren't developers who want to make an RPG and don't really have the, they don't have the programming know-how or the team of people. Like all of the sprites and uh, the structure for the, the game is there and you basically fill in, like you make your towns look the way you want them and you put the dialogue in and the NPCs, all that kind of stuff. Oh, already dead. So yeah, it's a pretty cool, cool tool. I've seen people. I've seen people disrespect it because it's, it, you know, obviously it doesn't take any development ta talent to do it. But there are people out there that make pretty good games with it, and they would never be able to do that if they didn't have the tool. So I don't have the time to dedicate it to it, to be honest. But I've always thought it'd be fun to make an RPG. It's the story that would be fun to make for me. But yeah, indie devs—they need all the support they can get. 
That's one of the reasons. I'm definitely looking forward to Grim Dawn. It's so weird, all the stuff that, that gets the Kickstarter support now. Like, crowdfunding? It's a big deal. The games, games will come out of nowhere, and fans will, will pick and choose. Like, hey, I'm going to support this game because it looks awesome. And then you, you fund it. Torchlight? Or 10 million? Yeah, 10 million is... It's pretty fun. It's If you like puzzle games at all, I'm trying to think of what to compare it to. Obviously, Puzzle Quest. 10 million is a lot like Puzzle Quest. And sometimes it can make your eyes cross a little bit after you play it for a while. But if you like Puzzle Quest, you like Bejeweled matching games and stuff, plus some RPG grinding elements, that's basically what 10 million is. I've, I've played that. I think I have a couple streams. I don't know if you were around on the days that I was doing that. That was last week. I needed a break from it, though, because it definitely wears on you after a while. It's kind of fun to unlock all this stuff. You love puzzle games? Yeah, it's, it's, on, it's a puzzle game in the sense that you're doing matching and stuff. So, it's very in the spirit of Bejeweled. Except you're also doing RPG things. Like, you have a reason to be doing all that matching. And I don't know if you've seen Puzzle Quest. Basically, the way these games work is if you need to attack something, you'll match up the tiles that, that are like swords or a staff, staves or whatever. You match those and then you do damage to enemies. Or if you need a key to unlock a door, you're basically um, matching the keys, the key panels. So that's how it works. Sometimes you have to think pretty quick and it's just by the time you figured out what it is you need, there's no matches on the board and you're freaking out. So. But it's, it's definitely fun. Especially if you need a game that you can play in short sessions. Like, you are not stuck playing 10 million for any long period of time. So, it's cheap, too. That game, I think it's like 5 bucks when it's not on sale. And, uh, I don't think it's actually been on sale yet, now that I think about it. Somebody got it for me for my birthday. And, uh, I was pretty happy to try it out. Okay, I'm back to the beginning again. These caves, they are not treating me well today. Let's see, I think I need to go over here. Yeah, let's let's try this side over here. It's a dead end. Why am I walking up there? Yeah, sometimes when I'm when I'm A, tired, and B, racing, I feel like I get two of the worst combinations of maps ever. They're always, like, mazes, and I get lost, and I can't find anything. Oh, hey, this this could be it. Yeah, this looks good. This looks good up here. Dungeon. What I need to have is a, is a book that has all the maps. And I can be shady and look at the map and see where it all goes. I never do that, though. I've thought about it. But I don't know if these maps are completely randomly generated, or if if they're set. Like, they seem set, because I, I see the waypoints in the same spots sometimes. I'm starting to, to recognize the map, so Path of Exile is either doing a really good job of, of tricking me, and it's all random, and I just believe that there's some kind of pattern, or there's a pattern. I don't know, it's very possible they could trick me. I got tricked by a uh, Sim City review earlier today, which made me laugh. I am not gone. in the camp where I'm completely walking around dissing Sim City. Like I'm not, I'm not D3 in it yet. But uh, somebody sent me a pretty funny review about Sim City. I might have to link it to you so you can see it. It's pretty funny. I'm killing these guys and then uh, let's see if I can find it. Sim City experience. Do you like SimCity games? Is that something you're planning on getting? Oh, the Torchlight 2 demo? Yeah, dude, that's a great way to do it. And it goes on sale for 10 bucks. I don't know if you're a patient gamer or if you're the type that doesn't matter, but if you need to save money, Torchlight 2 goes on sale fairly regularly for half off, so... I know when I want a game, it's extremely hard for me to wait for the sale. I just look for it. Like right now, the whole stupid Sim City thing, I'm just like, man, I want it to be cheap, and I want it to be cheap now. The city ones, but not the normal Sims. Gotcha. 
I have average patience for the normal SimCity, the normal Sims games. Because those, like some days, I just, man, I don't know. They're not my favorite. Alright, I'm going to come down here real quick. So I want to see if I have that link. I want to show it to you. Since you actually uh, like the SimCity franchise, you might appreciate the joke. Okay. Oh, wait, no, that's... It didn't copy. I hate you, Steam. Now somebody sent it to me on Steam earlier today. Alright, there we go. Alright, check this, check this SimCity review out. It actually made me laugh. But it tricked me. It tricked me at first. Oh, I don't... Let's see, I've got like 15 minutes left. I... man, I don't know if I'll be making 10. Probably not. Wasn't hardcore racing enough. Started too late. Let's see if I can get some more damage. Let's do... Maybe damage. <laughs> Yeah, I actually reloaded it a couple times, and uh, I was like, God, I don't know, I guess there's a lot of people watching or reading this review right now, why can't I load it? I wonder why I can't load this review. And, uh, it tricked me. I just kind of sat there and I did other stuff for about two minutes, and then I went back and looked at it again, and I was like, this is, doesn't make any, wait a minute, oh, I get it now, Jesus. That's me not being able to multitask. When people send me stuff if I'm in the middle of something, good lord. Your chances of tricking me with it are pretty good. But I did find it very funny once I got the joke. I think too, I, I think, is that the actual circle? Is that the loading circle in the game? Because if it is, I mean, I've never played the game before too, so I wouldn't recognize that, but... <laughs> man. That's a good joke. That's something they should have done on April Fool's. That's a good April Fool's joke. Oh, hey, Shiver. Oh, no, 21 and died. No. Oh, god damn. You were the first witch. Dude, that sucks. Oh. Damn, man. You had the worst... worst drops. Shop didn't sell cold rings. Yeah, my shop doesn't have any cold rings. I think I'm too low level for it, though, but I'm not sure what level they unlock in there. But, uh, I didn't have any, so I skipped the first guy. I had to do Mervale with zero cold resist? Oh my god, how many times did you have to go back to town? Oh my god. Yeah, I I don't even want to think about that. That's horrible, man. I'm sorry your run was was so cruel to you. It sounds like it was one of those difficult ones where everything you do is just pulling teeth. It's like pulling teeth. Unpleasant and difficult the whole way. Nine times. Then you got to the western forest. Nice. Do you farm the, the monkeys there? These guys. This guy. Should kill the totem, I guess. It doesn't fight back though. Let's get some wisdom. And I'm so hungry. I'm gonna have to figure out how to heat up my taco salad without ruining it. No idea how to do that. Not an expert chef. Let's see here. But it was okay. It's the wor uh, okay. Western forest is west away from town. Oh, right, right. Yeah, what is that one called? It's just the forest or something like that. The forest. The forest where all the trees are. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty far. You can see that I am not used to getting that far in races, ever. They have to be pretty long. I'm just not very confident about my my racing skills at this point, so I haven't been haven't been pressing on, that's for sure. Entered at 16, got to 21, and died at 21. Damn, man. Damn. 
Yeah, I wonder I wonder if the stream is lagging for anybody else. Joker said it's been lagging a little bit for him today. You can see it. We have it set up on another PC. We have a very fast internet connection. And it doesn't look like it's lagging over there, from what I can tell. I don't know if it's if it's your your laptop or if it's Twitch. I really don't know what the cause is. I can see that I'm not dropping too many frames. I think I dropped two all day. Take a look real quick. Uh, actually, right now I've got zero. So I think that was before when we were having some trouble with it. it came back up, and I haven't dropped any since then, so it looks good. Alright, Joker, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for hanging out, man. Man, that is a shame, Shiver. That is a real shame. It's pretty good, though. You got pretty far. Now the frustration of getting killed after you do so well. And you have to play like that, you know, if you're going for the, the top, if you're actually if you're actually going to win, you have to play like with no holding back. Because if you manage to win that high up, man, you would get so many points. So many. enough life supplies to get that. Gonna have to run away. Ugh. This guy has new sounds. I'm not sure which ones are new. It sounds a little different to me. Hey. Awesome. Try to go for first. How long have you been racing? Have you been playing since closed beta or open beta, or just are you training a lot, like playing in every race? Oh, you're downloading Torchlight? That's what's making you go slow, Joker? Oh, okay. Well, you can always shut off the stream for a little bit while you're downloading. I mean, I know these streams take up a lot of bandwidth, so it's definitely going to interfere with your download. That's right, I forgot that you were getting that as well. See here, my connection is super fast. I have 150 down and like 65 up. So when I download games, it takes about two minutes. Something like Torchlight 2 wouldn't take very much time at all. You're really, really fast. It has to be a huge game for it to take a long, a long time for me. Or throttled on the server's end that I'm, I'm downloading from. Okay, yeah, the download's messing with the stream. So yeah, Shiver, you were in closed beta, and you have a lot of ex experience racing then. That's pretty good. Let's see, I have ten minutes left. Oh man. Started so late. Started too late to be so casual. Oh god. This zone always kicks my ass when I come in here too. There's always something right in here. That tells me why did you come in here? And that's a dead end. I think what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna ignore those guys. I'm going to load a new zone. I can't even kill this spark totem down here very well. Whatever his name is. Everything has fancy names, and I can't remember all the fancy names. Yeah, yeah, I do. I, part of the trouble is, though, is I'm really not committed to to being too hardcore with the races. I mean, I I think as soon as I decided to stream the stuff, I would basically need to train, probably when I'm not streaming, so that I could get better at racing. And then I would have to completely ignore chat, and I don't really want to do that. So, so I'm just just racing for the hell of it. I think it would be kind of cool. At some point, unless I get tired of, of Path of Exile, which is very possible, I go through different phases with what I play. But uh, if I get tired of it, then 
if I don't get tired of it, I should say, then what I would end up doing is maybe winning the, the bottom reward would be a good goal for me. Just like I said, I'm not very competitive, and I don't really like worrying about it. I hate to disappoint you guys, though, but I'm definitely not going to be the best player in the world, no matter what. Play for fun. And I also like to play a lot of different games. Like, I'm not the kind of person to get stuck on one game. Because if you do that, if you have just one game, you never really get to experience all the other games that you have. And I, I like a lot of variety, so... If I get too serious on one thing... I mean, that would be like me playing Minecraft all the time. Like, I've, I've seen a lot of streamers. That's their thing. It's all they do every single day is play Minecraft. And I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to have phases where I, I play a game a lot, but eventually I'm going to move on to something different. I think I want to kill that Sparky Totem. Sparky Totem. Oh my god. Horrible name for it. But uh, yeah, I mean I have so many games too. I have a huge backlog. At last count it was probably around 50 games that I have to get through. And here I am playing a free to play game. I, I never learn. I really don't. Yeah, playing more hardcore does. Actually, we were talking about it the other day. The more you play hardcore, I mean, the better you get at knowing when not to rush in and, and knowing, you know, when you've got to step back a little bit, how to attack, you know, how to do things fast. You learn to, to be more on your guard. Playing default, you always know that if you get killed, it's not that big of a deal, and so you're not as stressed out. But I think that's kind of what I need while I'm streaming. I, I don't want to have to worry about dying. I mean,. If you think about this, right, say I'm playing hardcore, and I know that I'm never, never really going to get that good at it because I keep looking at chat. Every time I die, I would start over again. <laughs> We're like, okay, I'm level one again, guys. Here we are, back to the start. I mean, it would be so boring to watch that, too. At least with the, the co-op that Apocrypha and I do, we have, we're on default, so if one of us dies, we can just keep continuing. So we actually discussed the possibility of doing hardcore, and he's like, imagine if one of us dies and the other one lives, you know, we're both going to have to start over again, because, I mean, the whole point's co-op, like, we're going to play together, and everything we've done up to that point, we lose. We just lose it all. So... I don't know, I was like, that doesn't sound like it's going to work well for our stream, playing hardcore. So I guess what we'll do is we'll play, we'll do hardcore when the raisins come up, you know. Yeah, you learn to kite better and survive better. Another thing I kind of wish this game is, I guess it would be better at, is some of the, the tanking. Like playing a Marauder, for example. This guy, like, I feel like I would love to be able to just stand in the middle of enemies. And eventually, if you have enough life leech and life on kill, and your armor mitigation's good enough, you know, your itemization gets better. You can stand there a little bit, but it's always dangerous. There's always a little bit of kiting that the characters have to do. I mean, I imagine there's probably some uber builds out there that if you have all the right items, you might actually be able to be a tank. But I think that would be fun if it was a little bit easier to be a tank with these characters. Because, uh, you know, the ranged characters, they're always running away from everything. These guys, they don't run as much, of course. Yeah. Yeah, you can't. You definitely can't tank in hardcore. You'd be wondering, you know, why you died. People with an IQ of 50 would be wondering why they died all the time in hardcore, because they're trying to tank. I mean, one of the things I'll do, if I run up into a group of enemies poorly, because I'm, I'm bad at running up and pacing myself in hardcore, I will run until I've got a couple of them following me, but that's a waste of time because I have already run in and aggroed too many guys. So it's just a matter of like figuring out, you know, how slow should you walk through a zone, you know, where do you click, and uh, I just, I don't know, I'm, I'm really, like, I'm bad at it because I'll read the chat, and if I look away for any, I've already walked too far. I mean, as it is, it's, it's hard to keep track of your mana in life sometimes. It doesn't keep me from enjoying the game, though. I'm just not the most efficient at it. I would drive OCD types crazy. Absolutely crazy. Like, why doesn't she fill her mana up as soon as she needs it? And why does... Oh my god! You missed an item back there, and I'm... Oh! Why do you run into the skeletons all the time? <sighs> I wasn't looking at the screen. That's probably not the best way to play a game, really. You gotta pay attention.
Yeah, I need to I need to look up some of the builds. I'm not real familiar with them. And now, of course, duelists are going to have completely new builds being made for them. Like anything anybody knew before, it's all different. It's all changed. There will probably be some similarities, but nothing will be exactly the same anymore. Man, level 28. Somebody with the name Rrrr. Rrrr. All R's. I don't know if you pronounce that R or Rrrr. Skeletons. Brr. I think the guy made his name like that so people would try to pronounce it and sound stupid. It's like those fake names people use when they they prank call places. Uh, I was calling for my friend Amanda. Amanda who? Uh, her last name is Hug and Kiss. Uh, I got a phone call here for an Amanda hug and kiss. And that kind of stuff. Ah, oh, skeletons. How much time do I have? Three minutes. There's no way. I'm gonna pull a joker today. I'm gonna be like 200 XP from, from leveling. And there's a medium life flask. Definitely not what you should do if you have only a few minutes left. Go back to pick up an item. Mm -mm. Ah, ethereal knives, yeah. That's a pretty cool looking skill actually too. skeletons we meet again all right well I think I'm done there's no way I'm gonna level in two minutes so I'm gonna go to town I only made it to level nine mostly because of my extreme slacking I'm very good at that but I did have fun that is a shame shiver you got so close you were doing so well you were representing let's see what garbage I have in my inventory to get rid of I have a plank shield, and a stupid flask that I went back for and don't need, and this, and this. I don't need any of this. There go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was the almost... I, I don't know what's worse, you know? To, I mean, when you're doing so well and you get killed, like, you know, you know you can do that again. Because you, you've gotten so good at the races that you're, you're competing for, for first place for your class. And for some reason, people don't play a lot of witches. I, I noticed in the last couple of races, because I was kind of skimming through to see what classes were underrepresented, and there's not a lot of witches on the list, period, actually. So you, you have a good chance of actually getting up into the, the top 20 if you play a class that people aren't really gung-ho about. So I noticed a couple of races, Marauders were that way, but the last ones, uh, the ones today, people were falling back on Marauder. I think maybe some Duelist players and some Shadow players, of course, Shadows were nerfed. We're just uh, trying something different. I don't know. I'm not sure what, what made them all disappear from the list today. But witches are very hard. What sort of build do you think is, is a fast witch build? What do you usually use? Because I know when I'm going to survive and just try to make the minimum levels, I'll do, um, as you saw earlier today, I was just doing minions. But uh, I really like I really like cold nova. When you get into those farming levels, you can just blow through stuff. That's what I used to do back in closed beta, is I would do cold nova and just rip through large groups of enemies. Lots of XP. They're hard, so the competition's low. Oh wait, let me uh, let me permit you so the bot doesn't time you out. Hang on a second. There we go. Okay, so if you have a link, you can post it now. The bot will not will not aggro you. Bot aggro, that's the last thing you need. The league is finished. Yay, I survived. Boo, I didn't make ten, but I started late and slacked. Oh, you're just going to type out your build. Two fire traps, and you got a freezing pulse from quest. 
And then Cold Nova is a drop. Yeah, Freezing Pulse and Cold Nova, that was something that I used quite a bit. And then if I could get my hands on a Cold Snap. Man, do you remember back when Cold Snap didn't have a cooldown? That was freaking awesome. Cold Snap was so OP back then, man. I loved it. Which is probably why I got nerfed. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> it was really good. Oh, you're gonna leave now, Joker? See you later. Thanks for hanging out. Good luck with Torchlight 2. Let me know what you think of it. Yeah, I know, Cold Snap was so good. And now it's got that cooldown. And, oh my god, it's just... It's not as good as it used to be. Not as good. It was fun. The Cold Witches are one of my favorite builds. I mean, I think the idea of slowing the enemies down and uh, and shattering them is, is a really fun thing for me to do. I like curses too, but usually usually I'll go with curses if I'm planning on co oping with other people, because at that point I, I like doing some support stuff too. But then you got added lightning damage. You linked it with Frost Nova and Freezing Pulse. Yeah. Right, so if you shocked guys, they would take extra damage. And, of course, there's the benefit of the AoE and just the cold damage in general. Yeah, that, that's a good combination, man. I can get behind that build. I think if I were racing for for speed and efficiency, I would do that. Because, I mean, that's that's partially what I did. I didn't do the added lightning damage support. I'm trying to remember if that existed back in the closed beta. I don't remember. But uh, Freezing Pulse, Frost Nova, and, and Cold Snap were my standards. I don't know how efficient Cold Snap is now. I use it on my, my default, which... But I don't know how efficient it would be in a race. It depends on how long the race is, I guess. The longer, the better. So you would spam three fire traps, and then do a cold Nova, kill all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's probably pretty spectacular. Well, how does it work now, um, since the, the patch has nerfed the fire trap? Does it still work pretty efficiently, or... Is that, I don't know if it'll work as well. You can look at your passives take a look at that. Yep. Yeah, I do that too. I sometimes get the mana regen instead of the extra mana, but both of those are good. Always go for the life, yeah. That looks it looks similar to me, except I haven't quite gotten that far yet. I think the, the farthest I've taken a witch was 12 in the short races, so... I haven't quite gotten that many points, but you were heading in the same direction as me for the most part. It's not as good. Yeah. Yeah, I figured it probably wouldn't be as effective now that they've nerfed Fire Trap. Only the 10% spell damage in full life. Yep. Yeah. Got it down to a science. But yeah, running a witch, I think the witch is probably my favorite class in Path of Exile. It's my favorite one. And mostly it's all because of Ice Nova. You know, the, the Ice Nova is definitely where I have the most fun. And it can be pretty hard to play an Ice Nova character in higher levels because it's pretty dangerous. It's more fun in co-op, especially if you have somebody, you know, who's either planting totems down or, or getting the attention of the monsters. But you have to get pretty close to stuff which is uber deadly and something that I'm not sure that I would ever play in hardcore to be honest for the long term but in default it's pretty good because it doesn't really matter if you die and uh, I mean the higher levels you do lose XP when you die so it can get kinda tedious but with the right gear it's not it's not that bad yeah that's true that's true with Templar and there's so many different builds that you can that you can go after yeah, Templar would definitely have more access to armor. So if the Templar is using the uh, the Ice Nova, that would be better. I think the Templar can also reach the curses, but right now, the witch that I'm building right now is primarily cold. And then I'm going for curses with support, which she already has. And like kind of as a tertiary skill, I have minions to throw in there for when I'm soloing. And I want the attention off of me. So that's kind of... That's kind of the way that I'm building it at this point. I'm not sure how efficient it'll be at higher levels, since I haven't had a high level witch since closed beta, but I figure I give it a shot, and if it sucks, I'll just make another one. And and then if another one sucks, I might have to look up some builds.
but it's fun for me to experiment, especially since I haven't seen a lot of the changes in a few months, so. Yes, I actually, Frostbite is one, and right now I'm using, um, I can't remember the name of it now, the, uh, the curse that weakens the enemies, and actually makes them do less damage to you. I can't remember the name of it. But yeah, elemental weakness is the goal. I actually haven't found one yet. And not even from quests. So when I get an elemental weakness, that will be going on there, but I don't have it yet. No, minions are terrible. I'm not a huge fan of minions. They they work kind of as a backup plan, and they work horribly with a cold witch because you're constantly freezing the corpses and you can't raise them, but it's just something I'm doing for fun. Like, I'm not putting any skill points into minions. I just have the the gems to summon them, like, into rooms where I see a lot of stuff is in there. I'll sometimes summon them ahead of me. Yeah, Enfeeble. Yeah, Enfeeble's that. That's the one I'm using. As soon as I get an elemental weakness, though, my build will be even better. Yep. I did get a spell totem recently. That That's a new skill gem for me, actually. I haven't messed with it that much. So, in theory... Knowing exactly how it works, I, I in theory know how it works, in function I don't because I've not actually tried it yet, but it's on the list. I got it the other day. I think Apocryphal and I were playing and it dropped, so. It makes a totem that summons a billion skeletons? Yeah, dude, that's, that's pretty awesome. I guess it would, because it would just pulse and every time it casts, more skeletons just come out and, you know, who cares if they despawn if it, if it casts too many of them, like reaches your limit. That is actually, I have a great mental image of just this totem sitting there and just skeletons popping out of it. it sounds That sounds pretty fun, actually. Well, I made it to the end of the race, but I did not represent very well. All of us, all of us have had a very rough race day. And Shiver, you, you did so well. I feel so bad that you, you died at the end there. But, next time... I hope you're getting close to having all your points. Maybe you'll get all the rewards this season. I think I'm gonna head off into Casterland. It's the place where all Twitch casters go when we're done casting. Which is usually bed, because we need to actually sleep. But I might eat some taco salad first, because I'm kinda hungry. Which means I might dream about some weird stuff. Eating tacos before bed. Good idea? Bad idea? I don't know. Doesn't matter. I'll probably do it anyway. Joker, let's see here. He died on something. Let me let me try to remember what he told me. I will scroll up and see. He let's see, man, that was a while ago. We were talking about so much stuff. Let's see. He got to the prison, I remember. Died in there. I don't, maybe he didn't tell me his level. Maybe that's why I don't remember it, because I'm not seeing it in the chat. I think he had an early death, and then died in the prison. It's very possible that he was having a tired day too, because uh, I remember him saying he got lost in the prison, and ended up killed with the cold guy that's in there. He decided to take those guys on because he couldn't figure out, he couldn't find the, the steps. So, yeah, I, I skipped that guy. The saw, sawbones with all the freezing mages and stuff, I, I skip him. There's certain bosses that you really need to skip on the way through because they're dangerous. It's hardcore. You need to get to where the big groups of enemies are. I mean, I remember that from, from the old days of, of playing. But at that point, I, I think he was just like, you know, screw it. I'm lost. I haven't been killing anything. I'm stuck in the prison. There's some dudes. I'm gonna kill them. I mean, that's that's the kind of stuff that gets me killed when I make bad decisions like that. It's just, but you get frustrated. I understand where the decisions come from. You just decide, I'm done. You know, I'm, I'm screw it. And if I live, it'll be awesome and heroic. And if I die, well, I don't care because I'm lost in the prison. <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. There's just some stuff. See, see, there he is. Joker is still here. He knows. That's exactly what happens. You just go, screw it. Imagine if you had lived too, man. You would be telling us about it. Oh my god, I just, it's amazing. I got through and I even killed Sawbones. You have like an awesome story, so that's really win-win. And you always got the next race. It's not going to be a big deal. What level did you get to, Joker? I don't think you told me. I don't remember. 
since you're still here. Cause I don't remember. I don't remember level. <laughs> He's like, I don't remember level either. That was so long ago. It was like a whole hour ago. I can't remember the stuff I do yesterday, so it all runs together after a while. Hell if I know. <laughs> Alright, I don't feel so bad. If I don't remember, you either didn't tell me, I just forgot. If you're gonna forget, it doesn't matter. You got to a somewhat respectable level, I assume. Somewhat respectable. Insta-deleted. Yeah. I have to I have to log off and wait for them to move my character and I don't even know if I got anything good today. My highlight was getting a GCP in one of the races, so that honestly was was pretty exciting since I haven't actually gotten any yet. I mean eventually GCPs are not that exciting, but you need so many of them. You need so many to level your gems that each time you get one, it's just another step in the the long corridor of of trudging through this game. I mean, it's just that was a horrible analogy. I am so tired. I have no idea even what I'm saying anymore. But yeah, each GCP helps. I got one, my first one, so I've now started on the path to greatness. How's that? Was that better? Started on the path to greatness. The path of exile. I'm so tired. I don't even know why I try. Yes, that's why you should trade. I agree, Shiver. And at some point, at some point I might trade. It just, it depends on how serious I'm getting with it. I mean, really, it depends. Because, again, variety streaming for me is, is changing games a lot, and so I really can't afford to get too invested in Path of Exile, just enough to enjoy myself. And uh, I did all that trading stuff in closed beta. It was really hard. I had to know the economy. I had to really be up on it. And, man, we didn't have the trade window back then, either. You had to trust people you were trading with by throwing your valuable shit that took you hours and hours and hours to grind out and then hope that they didn't just steal it from you. So you had to go find reputable people and hope that you weren't just finding a really good scammer. I don't know what happened to your item. I didn't see it. Thankfully that didn't happen to me though, because most people during the early stages of closed beta were pretty cool. So, but yeah, it was definitely, it was a different time. It was a different time. So, alright guys, well, I appreciate you hanging out for the races and I guess we'll probably do some more races in the future. Maybe we'll do better. But Shiver, Joker, it was great hanging out with you guys, and I hope to see you again. So take care, don't get in too much trouble, and I will see you next time.